Hi, it's Marsh uh, from the Health and Wellbeing with Marsh channel here in Berlin. Hope you're having a great day. Today I'd like to speak to you regarding uh, overactive thyroids, hyperthyroidism to be exact. And um, they're a result of extra hormones pe being produced within the thyroid located in the neck. Uh, in particular T3 and T4. That can be down to a number of reasons. Around three out of every four, or 75%, uh, was a, pro a problem, struggle with uh, something called Graves' disease. Yeah, so the type of thyroid problem is called Graves' disease. Uh, it's a very common uh, disease, and easy curable. Uh, the disease is uh, an autoimmune disease or condition where well, your immune system attacks the thyroid and cause it to become overreactive. Uh, the cause of this is uh, uh, exactly unknown and it's more common to young women and middle-aged women and it runs in families. Smoking can increase uh, the risk of getting it and another uh, type of problem can be beside the Graves disease it is one called uh, the thyroid nodules and that's when uh, little lumps and nodules as they're called develop on the thyroid and that leads to the production of extra hormones it's not known why they form but usually that's related to people around about the age of 60 over 60. Certain medicines can cause an overactive thyroid uh, in particular, those medicines with iodine or strong iodine uh, doses, which is evident within the mix. Uh, if or when the medicines are changed or doses are changed, then it's normal for the hormone levels uh, to go back to normal and, you know, no other further uh, issues are caused, um, except for maybe a, a regular blood check. Other issues or other causes can be uh, arising from pregnancy, uh, tumours, cancers, uh, thyroiditis. Yeah, so particular conditions can cause the hormone levels to change, if you wish. Uh, a diagnosis, your GP will arrange for a blood test. Uh, for the three different levels of hormones, your results will be compared to what should be normal for someone your age. Um, it's highly likely that further tests uh, may result, uh, a referral to a specialist even, to decide what it is that is causing it. And again, from the specialist, you may get even more tests to ascertain the causes. But please bear in mind that three quarters, or sent three out of every four, 75%, is a well-known one called Graves' disease, which is easily curable. Um, they will also give, send, maybe send you for a thyroid scan. Yeah. And within that, they'll give you a radioactive substance to take. And that will help to disclose uh, the size and the shape of the thyroid and compare it to what it should be normally. Yeah? Um, so 75% of the time, everything's fine. Yeah, it's within the grave uh, disease. And then, you know, you get the other 25% where it can be a mixture of a few different things from such as being pregnant, yeah? down to one or two more uh, particular serious ones, which again you can understand will affect the hormone level. Once the medication uh, is sorted, then it's normal from just to return to normal, yeah, as time goes on. And it's not too much to ask that you may be asked for a blood test once a year, yeah, just to ensure that everything is staying in line. Uh, normally I would talk about certain dietary conditions, but as I was saying in the first video, 
uh, on the underactive thyroid. It all depends on the hormone levels, yeah, and where you're up to and what meals or dietary intake could affect the hormone levels. So that's better being discussed with your GP or consultant. I hope it has, uh, the video has enlightened you somewhat. Uh, I would ask you to like and subscribe if you'd like to see any more videos. And uh, a good afternoon to you from Berlin. Fight the fight.